This is not the time to play political blame games. We heard what the Congress spokesman said, uh, Speaker, and we heard what the BJP was saying. Please let us try and depoliticize this very serious issue of young children. I want to make a f just in two minutes three or four quick points. Number one, there's been a knee-jerk reaction from the government. We understand the pain of the young people protesting, but in their hurry, they have come up with a knee-jerk reaction which has compounded the problem. There are four parts to this, sir. Let me deal with the second part. The final exam, when you qualify for the finals, you are allowed to take your papers in languages of the eighth schedule. The simple solution is not for the 24th, let's be practical. You cannot get this done by the 24th. Let's be practical. And let's not play politics. This needs to be done in the long term, but the, children, the students in the regional languages have to be given an opportunity to write those papers, those preliminary papers and languages. In CSAT, Again, please let's not jump to some conclusions. There needs to be more dialogue. CSAT is very, very good, some people say. Some people say CSAT is very, very bad. There needs to be a discussion. We cannot solve this in six days. Now, the government shot its mouth off, added fuel to the fire, and now trying to look for a solution. The third point is the, the interviews. That's the third part. And there's a fourth part where the students qualify for the IAS or the other services. There's 18 months. There too, English should be included in the spoken language. And please, for God's sake, will no one ever make a demand to drop the 300 mark English paper from the mains. No one is making that demand. So please don't uh, pretend that we are making this a fight between English and Hindi. This is all we have to say, sir. The government needs to give us a clear, re reliable, and a genuine assurance that they will start.